In this video, we will cover what anatomical directionalities are for fishes. I am Koa and this is KN Fish and Smarts where we fishers are always learning and sharing knowledge about fishing and fishes. Understanding the anatomical directionalities used when describing fishes is an absolutely valuable skill to have for any fisher or fish enthusiast because it helps you better understand not just what my field guides are talking about but what the other field guides are talking about and what's in fishing articles and even what's in your local fishing regulations. And knowing these anatomical directionalities is beyond essential for anyone with a desire to work within the zoological fields of academia or wildlife management. These anatomical directionalities are applicable to all fishes in the entire world, as well as to most other groups of animals. So really this graphic I created might seem a little intimidating, but I just want you to remember the four basic anatomical directionalities. Dorsal, ventral, posterior, and anterior. These are sort of like the cardinal directions, north, east, south, and west. The anatomical directionalities allow for understanding where a feature is being described on a fish and are often used for comparing the position of a feature against another feature. Anterior-posterior axis. Anterior describes the direction towards the front of a fish. The anterior region of a sunfish is also called the cranial region where the head, mouth, and snout exist. On certain fishes and other animals, this is also known as the rostral region. Anterior may also be used to describe a feature that isn't on the front of the fish. Let's say I'm describing the anal fin, which is not at all near the front of the fish. There are three sharp spines located in front of the soft rays. These three anal spines are located on the anterior portion of the anal fin, as in the spines are directionally situated closer to the head than the soft rays. Posterior describes the direction towards the rear of the fish. The posterior region of a sunfish is also called the caudal region as that is where the caudal fin or tail fin is located. Again, posterior may also be used when describing features that aren't on the tail fin. On the anal fin previously discussed, we saw that the anal spines are anterior on this fish while the soft rays are posterior to those anal spines, or directionally situated towards the rear of the fish. The last anal ray is considered the most posterior ray of the anal fin. Dorsoventral axis. Dorsal describes the direction towards the back, or spinal region. Let's not confuse back with rear here. It's back as in the spinal region. Both the soft rayed and spinous dorsal fins are dorsally seated on all sunfishes. As I mentioned before, these directionalities are applicable to all fishes, so I want to point out something that often confuses people. Let's use a signathid for an example. This seahorse is often vertical, as in the tail is pointed towards the benthic or bottom, and the head is pointed upwards, higher than the rest of the body. Most fishes, like the sunfishes we are focusing on here, have their backs facing upwards, or towards the sky while a seahorse may have its head oriented more upwards. But that does not mean the seahorse's head is the most dorsal region. The general dorsal region will always be the region of the back or the spinal region, just as the posterior region will always be where the tail is and the interior region is where the head is located. Basically, no matter how you might spin these fishes, the orientation of these anatomical directionalities has nothing to do with the environment, only with the specimen. Ventral describes the direction towards the belly. The belly, breast, pelvic fins, anal fin, anus, and urogenital opening are all located on the ventral region of sunfishes. Ventral, like the other four common directionalities, may also be used to describe a feature more precisely. Looking at this eye of a spotted sunfish, if I were to describe the blue color on the bottom of the eye, I would likely say that there is a crescent bowl of iridescent light blue ventrally seated in the eye. Left-right axis, or lateral axis. 
Each sunfish has two mostly symmetrical lateral sides, a left side and a right side. We biologists prefer showing the left side of a fish in our field guides where the tail will be on the right and the head will be on the left. Proximo distal axis. Distal describes what is away from the body or body part in reference. Proximal describes what is near the body or body part in reference. If you look at the soft rays in the fins of sunfishes, you'll notice that they start as one extension and then eventually branch out. The branching of rays occurs distally or away from the body. It's always easiest to think of your own anatomy when remembering distal and proximal. Look at the back of your hand. So if you look at that back side of your hand and stick out your fingers, you'll see that your fingernails are on the distal end of your fingers and your largest knuckles make up the proximal ends of your fingers. All right, so again, I just want you to remember those four basic anatomical directionalities, dorsal, ventral, posterior, anterior, and if you remember more, if you retain more than that, props to you. All right, so we give thanks to the supporters of Koa Nature, not just the one-time donators, but our monthly contributors, the Koa Nature Patreon patrons. Uh, find out more at koa.org forward slash support. Also, I will be dropping plenty more videos on lepimids uh, in the near future, as well as more videos on fishing and fishes so that we can up our fishing smarts. All right, I say to you, Fish responsibly and good luck. Cheers.